Let me ask you something, Mr. Rossetti. Most electric vehicle models on the market today won't qualify for this EV tax credit. Is, is that your understanding of that? Uh, that is my understanding. The narrower constraint of the new EV tax credit is going to mitigate the eligibility across uh, existing EV producers. Is that going to result in more EVs on the road? Uh, well, according to the estimates of the new EV tax credit, which we show would only support about a million EVs, that's far lower than the projected uptake even without the IRA. So uh, I, I don't see that specific tax credit as having a, a huge benefit to new EV market uptake. The EV tax credits that are in the Inflation Reduction Act, who do they, that, that are written in law, who benefits from them? That's a, a great question. So when we think about the tax credits for new EVs, that's obviously going to benefit people who are buying new EVs. But I'm also a bit skeptical of the used EV tax credit because the expectation is that people who are buying used vehicles would benefit the most from having their purchasing power increased. But we'd also expect people who already have EVs that are going to sell them would do so anyway. So they might be able to charge a higher price because of the used EV tax credit, which might actually uh, inadvertently benefit people who already own EVs. And are well, I'm about out of time. I, I thank you for your answers.